Hello students, welcome to today's session. So in this session, we are going to deal with analytics part. So that is data from the IoT networking device which is acquired and then uh, which is generated, acquired and validated and organized after categorizing the data. So after that uh, process, which is the query process transaction for the business model. So here the analytics part comes into picture. So the data which is generated from the IoT devices turns out to be a value only if it is get subjected to analytics. So which brings the data analytics into the picture. So the data analytics is a process which is used to examine big and small data sets with varying data properties to extract meaningful conclusions and actionable insights. So let us uh, go in detail. So here the data analytics part for IoT and machine to machine devices. So the organized data after acquiring from the devices which is used for multiple purpose. For example, the applications, okay, so application usually use the data of devices in two ways. So one for monitoring and reporting and rule based actions. So for example, the analytics, the analytics part which enables finding new facts and taking decision on those facts. So identifying the functions and usage of data analytics and data visualizations for the IoT applications and business process. So here the two ways, okay. So one way is the for monitoring, reporting and rule based actions. For example, internet of street lights, that is application just to do that, okay. So and then uh, for analytics, uh, new facts and taking decisions based on those facts. For example, uh, internet of uh, ACVMs, that is automatic chocolate vending machines, which can use analytics, uh, new facts are found and those facts which enables the taking of decisions for a new options. So in order to maximize the profit from the machines. So here the analytic parts by enabling facts based decision making. Okay, enabling the facts based decision making in place of the intuition driven decision making. So and providing business intelligent and then uh, providing uh, key for the success of an enter enterprise and business. So here the example uh, usage of uh, analytics. So the internet of automatic uh, chocolate vending machine can use analytics. So here the new facts are found. For example, user uh, chocolate preference uh, can be uh, gathered in location wise. Okay. So on the facts that enables taking of the decisions for new options to maximize the profits from the machine. So here the analytics requires the data to be available and accessible. So it uses uh, arithmetic and stat statistical and data mining and advanced methods such as machine learning to find new parameters and informations which add value to the data. So analytics enables building models based on the selection of right data. Okay. So here the different uh, phases of analytics. So it has uh, three phases before driving. Uh, new facts and providing business intelligence. So these are all the three phases. So one is the descriptive analytics and another one is the predictive analytics and uh, third one is that prescriptive analysis. So this uh, descriptive analytics which enables deriving the additional value from the visualization and reports. So in the predictive analysis is the advanced analysis. Okay, so which enables uh, extraction of new facts and knowledge and then predicts the and forecast okay so here a predictive it uh, uh, makes what will be the uh, choice okay so it uh, it predicts the future and uh, prescriptive analytics it enables deriving the additional value and undertake better decisions for new options to maximize the profits so we are going to see the descriptive analytics in this part in detail so here the descriptive analytics uh, which means it answers the question what happened in the past Okay, so what are all the things which uh, uh, happened in the past? It means uh, finding the aggregates, frequencies of occurrences and mean values, uh, either it may be a simple or geometric averages or variances in values or groupings using selected properties and using these properties. 
so here are some of the features are uh, uh, which enables the actions okay so here which enables the actions for example online analytical processing for the analytics so reporting or generating spreadsheets and visualizations or dashboards displays of the analyzed results and creation of indicators which is called key performance indicators so we are going to see one by one in detail so here the descriptive analytic methods uh, it's a spreadsheet based reports and data visualizations and then descriptive statistics based reports and data visualizations data mining and machine learning methods in analytics and online analytical processing in analytics so these are all the different methods which are going to see in detail so here the spreadsheet uh, based reports and data visualizations so here the results of descriptive analysis which can be presented in the spreadsheet format so in terms of rows and columns before creating the data visuals for the user so the spreadsheet which enables the user visualization of what if okay so for example if uh, sales of chocolates of specific flavor which is dropped by a 5 percentage on specific set of uh, automatic chocolate vending machines so how it will influence the profitability so it uh, questions what okay so what if it may be the situation so a yeah, spreadsheet is a table so the values are in the rows and columns okay so for example here the c j r i so cell at the j th column and i th row which can be related to another cell or a set of cells through a formula or boolean relation or statistically analyzed value okay so here the values are in the cells uh, with the rows and columns so each value has a predefined relationship to the other values so next uh, statistical analysis so here the uh, this part uh, which uh, uh, describes the descriptive analysis which can use descriptive statistics so here the statistic analysis means we are finding the peak uh, minima and variance probabilities and statistical parameters so and also formula which is used for the data sets to enable the understanding of uh, data variations okay so this is about uh, descriptive part uh, statistical based reports with data visualizations so data mining analysis so here the data mining analysis means using of algorithms which extract hidden or unknown information or patterns from large amount of data so using these are all the tools sas and sp ss tools and then r uh, which is a programming language and uh, software environment for statistical computing and graphics so r language the it is the core of many open source product so descriptive analysis uh, which enables intelligence for further actions so here the machine learning modeling of the specific task so next one is the online analytical processing in analytics so here it enables the viewing of analyzed data up to desired granularity so it enables the view of roll up okay so it is a final granulates data to coarse granulates data or drill down which is a coarse granulate data into finer so large number of data is uh, combined to as uh, a cut into uh, few number of datas and then a few number of datas are joined to large number of datas okay so it enables opt uh, it enables obtaining uh, summarized information and automated reports from the large volume database so uh, results of uh, queries are based on metadata so metadata is data which describes the data and it uh, pre storing the calculated values provided consi consistently fast response so olap which uses the analysis function which are not possible to code in sql so the data structure is defined from the users perspective like a spreadsheet formula okay so olap is a significant improvement over query systems so it is an interactive system to show uh, different summaries of multi dimensional data by interactively selecting the attributes in a multi dimensional data cube so olap enables analyzing data in multiple dimensions in a structure so that is called data cube so here that uh, data cube so is a interactive systems to show the different summaries of multi dimensional data 
by uh, selecting the attributes in a multi dimensional data cube so data cube is a uh, enables the analyzing data in multiple dimensions with a structure so each dimensions which represents a hierarchy so each dimension has a dimension attribute it uh, defines the dimension and the summary of the measured attribute so next one is the uh, slice of data cube so it can be viewed when values of multiple dimensions are fixed so a slice of uh, data uh, which relationship between two attributes that can be individually visualized so six different uh, cross reference tables can be created uh, during OLAP for three dimensional uh, structure for analyzing the data so for three dimensional structure so here the six different cross referenced table can be created using this uh, during OLAP process so slice of n dimensional uh, structure so we'll have two n faces that is a uh, tables and then each table and corresponding visual which gives a relationship between the two attributes so the tables are cross referenced so a dice of a data cube which can be viewed with the variable values in multiple dimensions so here the cubical uh, dice which has six faces each face marked distinctly okay so face one has one dot face two has two dots and so on so sixth face has six dots so six uh, different cross reference tables can be created during OLAP for three dimensional structure for analyzing the data so dicing is a process of creating cross referenced tables each viewable separately on n dimensional structure faces so a di uh, dice of n dimensional structure will have uh, two n faced uh, tables okay so two n faces or tables uh, each tables and corresponding visuals which gives a relationship between the two attributes so the cross reference tables are possible so the slicing and dicing functionalities okay so here the means selecting the specific values for uh, these attributes uh, which are then displayed on top of the cross tables so slice is means a data relationship in the analyzed multi multiple dimensional data which can be viewed dice of a data cube which can be viewed with a variable values in multiple dimensions so and this uh, slicing and di uh, dicing functionalities which is the mean selecting specific values so particular values for those attributes and then uh, which is displayed on the top of the cross tables so these are all the types of OLAP so uh, it consisting of three types multi-dimensional OLAP, MOLAP and then uh, relational OLAP, ROLAP and then hybrid OLAP so here the problem so how are the OLAP is used for analytics in internet of automatic chocolate vending machines okay so this is the problem so you can uh, fix that uh, uh, take that uh, different uh, categories of chocolate level and different prices so here the considering the internet of uh, automatic chocolate vending machines so first dimension which can be for time intervals that is varying in hierarchy from hour a day week month and year second dimension can be number of installed machines with hierarchically aggregated values from tens fifties hundreds and so on so the third dimension can be number of chocolates sold with hierarchically aggregated values hundreds thousands ten thousand and so on so fourth dimension can be number of individual chocolate favor solds okay so fifties hundreds one fifties two hundreds and so on so similarly fifth and sixth other dimension can be used for other specified flavors so here are the steps to be followed so first one is that uh, identifying the dimensions so each with an attribute and hierarchy so for example identifying a dimension uh, uh, one number of uh, time intervals and two will be the number of installed machines and three will be the total number of chocolates of all five flavors sold so this is the uh, steps in identifying the dimensions so with the attributes and hierarchy so and then second one is that analyze analyze the cross tabulations so here the row header with one attribute column header with another attribute and cell having the aggregate value or calculated value according to a formula or analysis so for example a table of number of chocolates sold and time intervals as well as table of number of chocolates sold and number of machines so this is the analyzing the cross tabulations so next one is the visualizing the n dimensional cube data 
so here the cube means integration of fact table with cross dimensional tables visualizing the slice and dice faces so when visualizing the analyzed results first take the whole then region wise and then individual automatic chocolate vending machines which means the drilling down views some from coarse granularity of analysis to finer granularity analysis so here the first take the whole and then region split into region and then into individual automatic uh, chocolate vending machines so from the uh, whole part that is the coarse part from the large number of uh, uh, contents to a small number of contents for analysis okay so next visual visualizing analyzed results first consider the flavor okay so first you can take the chart as flavor wise and then as a whole so here the from the finer granularity of analysis to the coarse granularity of analysis okay so here the chocolate and then uh, split the chocolate into flavor wise and then combine those uh, data as a whole okay so this is what uh, the pro solution for the problem so so far we have uh, seen the uh, data analytics uh, for iot and machine to machine device and then ways of usage and what is uh, meant by analytics and then uh, with an example of uh, internet of uh, automatic chocolate vending machines and then different phases of analytics uh, which uh, expansion of uh, uh, explanation of di different uh, analytics phases so with the examples